Hi, welcome back to My Nature Apps. Today we're going to take a look at snake spit. And snake spit you're going to find, uh, despite the name, it's not made by a snake. Um, it's made by the nymphal stage of the uh, frog hopper insect. It's, it's actually called the spittle bug. And it's aptly called that because of the, the spit-like substance that it leaves on each plant. And you'll find these gobs of uh, white, frothy, foamy stuff um, right where the crook of a leaf meets the stem or below a flower head where the flower head meets the stem. You'll also find it in pine needles, pine trees. Um, it's not that detrimental to the plant, but what happens is the, the nymph that lives in here, and I usually only find one per gob of spit. The nymph that lives in here pierces the stem of the plant, and as it feeds on that juice, it also excretes uh, the juice plus the bubbles, uh, air that it mixes in with it, and makes this protective kind of little uh, cocoon that it lives in and it grows in until it becomes an adult. That takes about four to six weeks. Um, but this foamy matter, we're going to pull a couple of leaves off this stem so we can find them a little easier. The uh, I hope we didn't just shake them off because they don't grab onto there too well. Um, this will keep the temperature constant here when it's hot or cold and he'll just live in that. It also protects him from predators such as uh, um, there he is too right there. It protects them from the natural predators, ladybugs, birds, other insects, and they won't eat this juice either because it's bitter tasting. But this one actually, we're going to see if I can chase him back up. He is right, let's remove some of the spit first a little bit more so he can't hide in that. Um, they're going to stay in this until they become an adult, and I think I said that's going to take four to six weeks, and then they'll leave this mass. And they will actually have wings by then. And the female frog hopper insect, there he is. The female frog hopper insect will lay her eggs in the crook of these branches on different plants in the late fall, uh, I'm sorry, late summer to early fall. And the next spring, if you get enough moisture, he's actually migrated to the back side. If you get enough moisture, um, these nymphs will hatch. There he is. I'm going to try to turn that around. Hopefully, it'll stay in focus. And we should see him. There he is, right there. There's your nymph right there. There's your spittle bug nymph. You probably got a leaf right in your way, don't you? You can't see it. Let's take this one off. This is a goldenrod that this one is on. And there's hundreds of thousands of goldenrod in here, so it's not going to... Actually, there was two in this mass. There's another one right here, which we can get a good glimpse of. Um, right here, and this is the first, uh, the first mass of spit that I found two in. This one's right here. Very well camouflaged. They have very large eyes. If you can make out that little black dot, that's one of his eyes. But this is the first one that I have found two uh, nymphs living in. Two spittlebug nymphs. Usually there's only one per gob. But that's it. That's It's pretty cool um, what nature does. So if you ever find this uh, spit-like substance on a plant, you'll know that living inside that is going to be the nymph of the spittlebug, which will actually turn into an adult in a few weeks and leave here as a frog hopper insect, a frog hopper adult. Thanks for joining us. Find us on the web. We hope you found this one useful today. Have a great day in the field.